Welcome to the pew. Achoo! Edition. <laughs> We're still sick. Michael's sweating. He thinks he has a fever. I have a fever. I forgot to close the window. We'll have to talk loud. He forgot to close the window. Oh yeah, we have to talk loud. Have to talk loud! Or so the pewers say. Oh, so the pewers say. So the pewers say! Enunciate. Enunciate. Okay. I'm too sick to be yelled at too much. So. Who's been yelling at you? You were just now. I was not yelling. Oh, that, was that me? You were the one who was yelling. Oh. What was I yelling about? Oh, about me yelling? So, we're going to talk today about the new... Actually, it will be the newest addition to the Super Club scene, I guess. In, in, it's, it could be, would be considered a Super Club, right? Yes, the return of the Super Club. Well, we hope that tried and failed so far. Yeah, uh, Space Ibiza. Um, Which uh, is exactly where... It's on 50th Street. See, the fact that you don't even know where it is. It, it's like, you knew exactly where Red Zone was. You knew exactly where the world was. I you still knew exactly where the area was. You knew, you know, it's like, why do we not know where these clubs are? Because of bad marketing. Yeah. And they decided that, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking actually when they're promoting their parties or I guess they think that they just have to hire some famous DJ and then it's going to be good. Well, that was their, um, that was their, uh, modus operandi yes. under Space Ibiza. They yes. were hiring all these you know, I think their fatal flaw was that they were hiring all these DJs from Europe who are really famous in Europe, but then they come here and it's like, and <laughs> well, maybe it's the same. Are, it's the same problem that New York clubs have when they move to other cities like Chicago or LA. The, the people in the other cities, host cities, are thinking, "Who do these New Yorkers think they are coming in here and telling us how to run a club?" But I never thought that about Space Ibiza. I mean, oh, they, that that was a general idea I got that they came in thinking they were going to tell us how to, you know, because New York is very much. It's, it's about music, but it's also, New York is also about a scene and fabulosity. And you have to have both in order to, to make it happen in the city. And that's what Steve, so, so Space is going to, Space is, um, uh, is drum coming, roll, <laughs> giving, us, giving us the space at, to Stephen Lewis and I. And we're going to, um, starting when? December 1st. You heard it, December 1st, Michael's going to start doing a mega club party at the former Space Ibiza Former freak, former failure. Yeah. And um, so we're going to do, we're gonna do a little bit of both. Uh, we're going to do the music thing. We're gonna, we have Jonathan Peters as the headline DJ. DJ, And then we're going to add the scene stuff on top of that. So we're going to do a little bit of both. Because I don't think a club can survive on just one or the other. No, and you know, I was always puzzled by uh, Space Ibiza and some of the other big clubs that are in that area that have never thought it was important to have a scene. They never... Yeah, they never like, catered to us. They never catered. And I don't expect them to like super cater to me or well, my crowd. Well, it's New York City. But I, I expect to be super catered to. But we, I we do, super, You know, we spoiled everybody by super catering to them. Well, yes, which is why people 25 years later are still talking about the parties that yeah. we did. And, you know, in 25 years, no one's going to be talking about no. Space Ibiza or, no. you know. No, maybe they might now. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you have to super cater to people. You have to. Otherwise, it just it doesn't work. Well, it's puzzling to me that clubs don't super cater. I mean, I, I'm seeing the parties that are fun right now in New York do kind of cater to the club people, to the drag queens, the club kids. And then the ones that don't, uh, nobody goes to those. I mean, I don't know who goes to them, but I don't. And yeah. neither do most of the scene queens. But, you know, it's hard. You, it's hard. you have to, like, it's hard to find a club owner now who will, you know, kind of risk super catering to them because it's like there's so much it's such a commitment you know well i'll give you an example of a club that i think really faltered uh with that and that is flash factory because flash factory they which started is, to see it seemed like it yeah, was on 28th street between 7th and 8th avenues and they tried to cater to people and they got off on a fairly good foot because they had nikki otav uh, promoting on weekends and then they had Lady Fag doing her Sunday battle hymn there which was really fun and then she moved it to Fridays and then come the middle of summer she just stopped doing it because she said she was going on hiatus but then never returned to Flash Factory to do it and well I, now okay I've never been to Flash Factory I guess how many people does it hold it doesn't hold that it, it might hold like a thousand people okay and was it full it often got full yes. full like you can't walk through it full 
Well, you can always walk through it. Well, n n I remember night at Palladium, an area where you could not walk through the club. That's, I mean, it was you so crowded. Walk well, it. you could walk. You it, could it, plow it took, through it. Yeah, you had to plow through, and it took like a. It wasn't know, an effortless, you know, walk. No, it was not effortless. Yeah. And in Los Angeles, this party that I that I did was one of those where you could not get through the dance floor. It was like so crowded, you couldn't. It, it was. I'll, I'll put it this way: Miss Kitten was on the other side of the dance floor, and I was on the side with uh, with Eldot and Kiyoki. Uh, by the bathrooms, and we made the decision not to go see uh, Miss Kitten because we couldn't get there. So your goal is to make Space Ibiza so crowded that so you can't see it, that you can't enjoy the performances. <laughs> Nobody can see your outfit. <laughs> you can't get to the bar to get a drink, even if it's free. Well, and in fact, the um, the owners of the club. Um, had a security detail following me around and they did not want me going to the bar to get a drink because they so many people would follow me to the bar that they, they couldn't sell any drinks. So they I had to tell them what I wanted to drink and then they would go bring it to me. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, that the goal is to get to that point, yes. I, I see. I like that. I, I, the, 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 the Michael Todd room, you, there would be times when you could not get through the Michael Todd room. It's true. That was at the Palladium. Yeah. The, you're doing this party with Steve Lewis, and you've had a number of uh, break up, very public breakups with him. You talk as if we were lovers. Well, you're not lovers. Gay lovers. Well, I wouldn't say you're gay lovers. I would just say that you're friends and you've had very public breakups. And very, what's the opposite of breakup? Very, reunions. Yeah, very public. Well, the reunions are not very public, but the, break, <laughs> the breakups are because they usually involve Steve going to the media, to the press, <laughs> and announcing that he no longer wants to have anything to do with you. So why has he decided to have something to do with you again? Uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not him deciding he wants something to do with me. It's me deciding also that I want something to do with him. We go through these, you know, as very public, we have a very public relationship. And um, part of it is because we like it, and part of it is we don't like it, <laughs> but, we, but we have no choice. Because once you, it's, a, it's the kind of thing that, you know, once you get the ball rolling, you, you lose control of it, basically. So if you go to the media, if you start going to the media with your problems, then you can't just decide one day not to go to the media anymore. So, um, right, can you imagine if you and I went to the media every time we had a fight? We would never have gone, to, we would never <laughs> bother the media. <laughs> Because we've never had a fight. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the pew. pew Pew. So you've heard it here, Michael's returning to Mega Clubs. No, I'm not returning to Mega Clubs. Our Mega Clubs are returning to Michael. No, I'm just no, I'm just helping set it up actually. Oh, okay. Honestly, so just, you're not gonna be hosting there? Yeah, I'll be there. And okay. I'm, but I'm I'm really I'm I'm setting I'm I'm putting a team together with Steven to do it. Oh, okay. Um, and, uh, the outrage people like Jason and Natasha and Jane. So and, is it gonna be open every night? Just weekends for now. Fridays and Saturdays? Yeah. And what are the parties going to be like, or what are they going to be called? Um, we're 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 it's, we're trying to book events again, like um, like uh, um, you know, like Dalen, who's now Susie, you know. Um, oh, he's trans now. Yeah, he's oh. with Susie now, and he uh, has a new magazine called the Jack Mag. So you know, like a party for the Jack Mag, or like you know things like that, like pe that, that you don't you don't see anymore. Like remember, you used to see those parties all the time. Right. Um, they were dime a dozen. Yes, and now they don't happen anymore. No, they don't. So we're going to be bringing parties like that back, um, coupled with the, D the DJ thing, and then um, a scene element. So we, we're going to put all three together, and hopefully that should, you know... That'll be fun. I think that's what you need. Yeah, you Something know, like I'm really uh, itching to go to at mega clubs again, because mm -hmm. I'm so tired of these cramped little spaces where... Yeah. You know, it's basically one or two tiny rooms where yeah. you can't really, if you see someone that you don't like, you can't even get away from them yeah. because they're, the room is so small, like you're, you're basically rubbing elbows with them. Yeah. So um, there will be enough room for all of your enemies to be at this club, but you won't even know. I don't know. have any enemies. Mm -hmm. So there's the... I don't have any enemies, but there are people that I don't like as much as other people. There's a big, da there's a big dance floor, and then a smaller dance floor, and then another sound system, or another room element, I suppose on the roof, you'd say. Um, and um, and it's on the weekend, so I can actually go to these parties yeah. versus your Monday night party that I can almost never go to. Yeah. 
So, so yeah, so Natasha and, 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 uh, and Jane and, and Jason Chaos and Debris and Satang Barbie and William and all those people and will be involved. Kyoki. Okay, okay. Fun. So look forward to December. First. At, what's it called again? It's called Freak Show. Freak yeah. Show? Okay. Yeah. The Friday night is called Freak Show. We don't have a name yet for Saturdays. All right. We'll see how that evolves. Yes. All right. See you next time. Bye.